A very short video, but very, very significant video for me. I uh, will put it this way. It pertains to a post I have posted yesterday on Saturday, August the 3rd, 2024. MK Ultra American side will have to recognize fact that because of me, in my defense, literally, Slovenia was offered membership in NATO in as early as in 92, and the European Union membership in as early as in 93. Offers of Slovenia European Union membership stopped in 96 once I left to USA. Um, just as a top investments and investors, etc. Okay. Um, it's, um, it's, it's like this. Um, uh, I will demand Milan Kuchan killed. I will demand Borut Pahor killed. I will demand Tanya Fayon killed. I will demand Gregor Gorobic killed. Cyril Ribicic killed. I will demand Skolc killed. I will demand all the people from the Social Democrats and also few other political parties literally killed based on this stuff. It's very, very important for me. In Exactly during independence, Slovenian independence, this is a uh, independence. Uh, I have, uh, I have. Uh, talk to you about, uh, uh, explain to you exactly how independence went, right? Right? I described to you that I was the one through whom it, the independence in Slovenia happened, and it did happen so through the gradual process, which went literally inside of the Moscow and also in the Belgrade. This is how the independence of Slovenia happened. You're going to have to go through the videos, uh, negotiations that went on in Moscow and in Belgrade. This is exactly how Slovenian independence happened. There is something much worse than happened also when Slovenia became ind independent. Here in Slovenia, Milan Kuchan uh, had guests such as Milosevic. This Negotiation process in Moscow and in Belgrade did not stop once Slovenia already became independent. Now that Serbs and Russians wanted to kill me, um, everybody inside of the Slovenian parliament can confirm. Uh, Milosevic was like a brother of Milan Kuchan, who arrived also to Slovenia on opportunity once Slovenia became independent and yelled, screamed at me uh, with a Karadzic, with all these politicians, Serbs, Sheshel, uh, were extremely, extremely angry about that Slovenian independence eventually happened, that he came to that he came through. Um, they did not even believe something like this would be possible, and they warned together with uh, what was this uh, Markovic or whatever he was that Slovenian independence is impossible to happen because it would economically Slovenia could not self-sustain itself, and the the the. They rated America, Americans and Germans and French and British as a, as a trash, as something that lured uh, Slovenes into a trap. And I was the one to be blamed for. So they wanted me dead at all the costs. Something that Milan Kuchan have supported at large with a group of people that I mentioned right here in Slovenia. 
And so once the Slovenian independence happened, these people came out in defense to Milosevic and wanted me dead. It was, the language was, we want you dead. Slovenian independence happened. We don't have jobs. We are without jobs. We don't have contracts. This is what the Milan Kuchan with the Mansion Group instigated here in Slovenia. We want you dead. We want you dead. This was the language. So, uh, luckily for me, American side and German and British appeared uh, out of dark with others and they started to make offers Slovenian side the first financial offers it is true it was the royals the European royals that first popped up on on the scene and they started to rain offers down the throat to Slovenian side those offers were actually impossible to accept because they were the highest paid uh, jobs, companies, like not ordinary company that would move in, but really uh, companies that investments, I should say even, not even companies, but in some cases also investments for the companies that they would open, that they would, you know, uh, two million Slovenia did not present any kind of challenge for the Western capitalism. And they had to stop with Milosevic. I, I, it's hardly for, hard for me to believe that Slovenia became independent and Milosevic became in Slovenia God. But this is the way it was. Literally, this is the way it was. Uh, <laughs> uh, with uh, Luise Petrle, Boucher, Janša. This was a right for the independence exactly when independence happened. It was not in 92, but in 91. They wanted to choke me. They wanted me dead, literally. Now, dead in my case, what you will do is, you, you will not put me any kind of memorial to me. I don't consider myself as a Slovenian anymore. You will not put me any kind of memorial but you're going to lobotomize to me, Milan Kuchan. You understand? He's going to be a living fucking memorial reminder on what Milan Kuchan did to me also in 2012 when he threw me into the psychiatric hospital. You're going to lobotomize to me, Golovic. You're going to lobotomize to me, Škoč, Pahor. Fayon, you're going to lobotomize to me these young politicians and I want their progeny, I want their children to be investigated for any kind of financial advantage they might have due to Slovenian independence, to make myself clear. I don't want any kind of memorials, but you're also not going to get away with it. And you will pay with a type of memorial, psychiatric memorial, something you used against me for 53 years for the world to see what can happen to the people like yourself when you do evil stuff to the people. Pogrebniki, you need to become a life symbol, a living symbol of the walking dead so the world can learn that there is an ethic, there is some kind of justice in this world that will follow up on you, trace you, track you, eventually destroy you. Uh, Milan Kuchan is just as deserved for the Balkan massacres, genocide in Bosnia, in Croatia, in Kosovo, just as Milosevic. This is probably even worse guy than Milosevic, I don't know. Who knows it? Uh, who the fuck doesn't? Who the fuck doesn't? I'm a witness, the, the, the core witness of what went on, what exactly I was surrounded with, and what the people in the background, he's talking about Dutch royals, Norwegian royals, Swedish royals that came here to pledge investments 
for my sake, basically, to keep me literally alive. After Slovenia became independent, like I said, Slobodan Milosevic remained God here in Slovenia. He remained as God here in Slovenia. Nobody ever issued any kind of apology. The only thing was Jansha, uh, Peter Les stated, yeah, but he already got the investors. I became a hostage of the new Slovenia. I became a hostage of the Slovenian people here. These motherfuckers started to use me like a hostage. And they started to extort with the act you did in 91 when you give actually the support to the Slovenian terrorism here, to the Serbian-Russian terrorism here in Slovenia by expressing concern for my well-being literally with investments that you started to offer to the Slovenian side here. Uh, I became Slovenian hostage in the process. I became a Russian Serbian hostage literally in the process. Unless, of course, you had an agreement, mutual agreement to destroy me. It's going to be one or the other. But Slovenian side will not get away with it. I want them killed. Literally killed. You understand? Killed. Better than killed is lobotomized. I want people to see I want people to be reminded every fucking day when they see them around lobotomized. Lobotomy is a suffering. What they did to me in 2012 in a big way was a lobotomy. Medications they used. They claimed, they claimed on their complaint that I attempted to exterminate Slovenian nation along the Roma and Jews. And so you are going to do this for me. I want the fucking living dead on the streets of Slovenia who did this stuff to me. I was confused about the timing. I, 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 I went to 95 and 96 and 97. Uh, 93... And I know exactly when it happened. It happened exactly for the Slovenian independence. Uh, Milan Kuchan went on on behalf of Milosevic, with Milosevic and Russians, to literally ra label them in the face. Norwegians, which did not even have anything with the Nazis and during the World War II. They contrary have resisted to the Nazism during the World War II. Uh, Dutch, he labeled Dutch as a Nazis. Their money is a filthy money, is a dirty money. Uh, literally retaliated in their face for expressing concern for me, basically. Literally.